Hi there everyone, welcome to Engineering with Preetam. In this video, we will talk about construction mode in Creo Sketch. This is continuation of our PTC Creo series where we are covering all the aspect of PTC Creo from very basic to advanced level. Now coming back to our topic which is construction mode. The construction mode allow us to create construction line geometric shapes that are not part of actual design but assist us in sketching the design more accurately. These elements act as a guide or a reference for the final sketch. Let's dive in and let me quickly show you how you can utilize construction mode in PTC Creo parametric environment. Let's jump into our computer screen. Okay, so here you can see I have already opened a new part and then we are in PTC Creo Power Environment. And if you are looking to understand construction mode, then I am pretty sure that you already know how to create your part. If you don't, then you can check out our previous video in the description below. Now let me select the plane and press S to go into sketch mode, which is shortcut for sketch in Creo. Now let's click here on construction mode now anything you draw these entities will only exist in sketch mode so if i exit from it you will see this message which says that section is incomplete for the reason listed in message area and the message area here says section must contain geometric entities for this feature what does this mean? This means that the construction mode entities are not geometric entities. They are just to assist us to construct our geometric entities. Now let me exit out from this construction mode. And now let me try to build a triangle here. So what actually I wanted to do here is I wanted to build a triangle whose vertex passes through the circumcircle of a circle having a radius 200 or dia 400 and at the same time i do not want the presence of that circle and all this is possible because of this construction mode feature so not only you can create circle you can create any kind of entity for example line and then uh, let me actually give it a dimension um, angle let's say 45 degree and now um, let me lock it and then I also would want my triangle vertex to also pass through this construction line so let me select this one as well and there we go guys so this is how we can utilize construction mode inside PTG Creo parametric now let me again exit from construction mode and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on OK and this time the sketch feature didn't fail since we have created this geometric entity. It's not like that it needs to be closed until and unless we are doing some kind of operation where we required close reason. Um, let me again go back here using edit definition and let me delete this uh, particular side and still you will see your entity is visible and there is no failure occur and then here when we exit from our sketch mode we only can see the geometric entity not the construction feature this construction feature is only available inside whenever we open our sketch environment i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if you want to follow our entire series on PTC Creo, then consider subscribing to Engineering Preetam and I will see you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.